Hey everyone, welcome to another match of Scorched Earth. Playing against Demir Mill. Match 1 of 4 going up today. The deck deck was posted this morning. So make sure you check it out if you want to learn more about Scorched Earth. Link in the description of this video as always. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, would really appreciate that click. It goes a really long way supporting this channel. Alright. So. Here we are, playing against Mill. Not a deck I necessarily have high um, a high opinion of, let's put it that way. We're getting Archival Trapped here, which is probably the dumbest card in the mill deck. Oh, look at that, they got three of them. So, just like that, turn one, they're milling us for the majority of our deck, which is always nice. I mean, at this point, you could see how salty I was. I, I really try and be kind as a player but i i feel there would be very few people who would react well to that kind of play so i'm at 13 i mean this is basically a gg i should have just conceded because there's literally no way i'm gonna get through this yeah i mean okay there we go now i'm at three cards i'm gonna get the two let's just concede I mean, it's, uh, it's over all right, wow, really interactive magic right there. Really think that was compelling as a game. Yeah, definitely feel the money and time invested in my deck paid off in that match. Um, so anyway, Veil of Summer is going to come in here. I'm not too sure about Kozak's return, honestly. I think that should probably be removed. Yeah, it's not going to do much against their 0 threes. Okay, so this hand is fine. You can get a turn two Ren, and then turn three we start destroying some of their lands, hopefully throw them off. And uh, we'll see how much that luck goes for our mill opponent. So let's just get rid of this stupid crab immediately. Okay, cool. Another archival trap. Fantastic. Took a lot of skill there. Um... So let's get your turn two. It's actually pretty good. Um, I would probably play Utopia Sprawl first here. Um, yeah, there we go. So we did a lot on our second turn, which is nice. Let's see what our opponent has in store for us. Nothing good. By that I mean nothing good. <laughs> uh, let's just use the plus one ability immediately. Just so we get around anything weird. And let's just get rid of the land. Cool. So cutting them off blue is going to be important. Okay, they countered it. Fine. Let's just get their counters out of the way. I'm thinking of, I'm sure there's a lot of lines of play they have access to here. Um, so we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. Um... Looks like I'm not even playing games here. I'm just going to go with Glorybringer all the way. Let's see if they have a counter for that. Fantastic. They do. Whoop de doo. Cool. Fractured Sanity. Fantastic. Really happy. Their opponent got that done. So, in terms of destruction here, Molten Rain, assuming they're out of answers at this point. Our 
opponent trying really hard to beat us out here, but... Okay, so... Yeah, I'm going to ultimate here, I think. Don't have many turns left. I think an ultimate... Okay, no, no, I'm just going for the kill. Yeah, okay. So I could cast Lightning Bolt, for example. And then I could do that again next turn and then just end the game. As long as they don't, you know, kill us here. All right, so we won the game. And there we go. Um, cool, I guess it's going to be the same game plan, this this third game here. Yeah, I don't think there's much to change. Let's just get going. Get this over with. Have a decent hand here again, Ren and Six, Blood Moon. Of course our opponent is going to fetch around it, but inevitably Blood Moon will most likely affect them. Although it's going to be going down on, you know, they're going to have their turn three before us, so it's to their advantage. Utopia Sprawl is actually perfect, because that actually solves our problem. We'll be able to get, be able to get on their turn 2, not their turn 3. And there I'm securing black, as you can see, so... Now, the risk here is, do they have a counter or not? I mean, that's what it's going to come down to. So I either wait a turn, see if they'll take out a Renin 6 instead. It's a tough call. Let's see if I go for it. Okay, it looks like I'm going to bait. See if I can bait out permission here. There we go. So I knew they had, I'm, I mean, I knew they had something, right? So if we play Blood Moon there, they would have countered it. Um, here at least we get to protect our Tarmogoyf. Still going to be a 3-4, luckily. Another Renin 6 as a backup, but now is the time to Blood Moon. We'll also attack Ashiok here to prevent as much milling as possible. So let them just get that thing over with. Cool. Now 4-5, thank you very much. The fact that they're cut off black right now is also great. And they also don't have double blue. So we'll see what happens. Well, now they have double blue. Next turn, at least. Yeah, I think we have to be as aggressive as possible here. Cool. Another land. It's going to do nothing for them. That's good for us. I 
and I'm just gonna be aggressive here. I think that's the right play. I mean, I'm not gonna. That, there's not enough turns to ultimate. And there's really no point in getting any more lands at the moment, and I can get more if, if necessary. Okay, that's what I thought. So now we have lethal, and if they have nothing here, we're just gonna win. Fall flat on their face. Of course, if they have another creature. Okay, good. All right. I tried to end it there on a good note, putting GGs. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to say, honestly. Game one, getting through our carbo traps in a row, just uh, stung a bit too much. But we managed to disrupt our opponents in games two and games three, not allowing them to cast uh, the spells that they wanted to in time. And of course, we tried to play around their permission, which, you know, was to our great benefit. We ended up winning because of that. But let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about this match, what you think about Mill, what you think about my opinion about Mill. Don't worry, it's all, it's all fair game. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, stay tuned for the other matches going up today. And yeah, check out that deck tag, Scorched Earth. Fun deck to play. Thanks. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content in general, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. It really goes a long way to help me out a lot. If you want to become a member here on YouTube, hit that join button, which should be in and around that subscribe button. Check out the different membership tiers and the different perks you get at each tier. You know, I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube community officially as a member. And I think the membership tiers are pretty interesting, have some cool little features in there. So check it out, I would really appreciate your support. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, share my content on social media, watch my content start to finish like you're doing right now. It really does go a long way, so thank you for that. Lastly, if you want to become a patron, check out the Patreon link in the description of this video. Check out the Patreon Rewards Program. In a nutshell, you give me money every month. I use that money to buy a sealed product, which I open up on this channel, and then I give you back that money in the form of rares and mythics at the end of every year. The longer you're a patron, the more rares and mythics you get. Basically, one rare mythic for every month that you're a patron. And the value of those rares are anything really between $3 and $15. Some of them go even higher, as you know. So even if you average out about $5, a month, $5 per rare, that's 5 a month, you get your money back, but odds are you'll make more. Anyway, all that information is on Patreon. There's a video on there that explains it all. We really appreciate your support. Either way, thanks and have a good one.